Technology is about the process of meeting a need. It is about spotting an opportunity. There are two ways of teaching technology in New Zealand schools, and one of them is called hangaro. In hangaro, Māori values, beliefs and language are the foundation of all teaching and learning. Hangaro is part of the Indigenous educational voice of New Zealand, as represented in my slide. Hangaro is Indigenous. Hangaro is technology. Hangaro is curriculum. The Indigenous focus shapes the teaching and learning of hangaro here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Hangaro has set a world precedent, but there's not much written about this world precedent in the literature. There's a grand sum of a couple of paragraphs and the occasional bullet point reference. So this research, Orangaho, is aiming to start to change the situation. This rangaho will document the histories, weaving together the political, the economic, and the cultural influences that have shaped the hangaro curriculum document. By talking to people who have been involved in the development of the document and sharing the stories of their hard work, their commitment, and their dedication. From when hangaro was first split from Māori medium science, to this year, which is the first year that two strands are being added concurrently. The Māori team and the English team working together to develop their respective documents. Hangaro and technology. So who cares? Who will benefit from this rangaho hangaro? Why should Māori care? And why should non-Māori care? Hangaro represents a huge achievement and it needs to be celebrated. The passionate people that have worked so hard on the development of hangaro need to be celebrated. This rangaho could support international Indigenous communities who are working on developing their own Indigenous technology curriculum. It could support policymakers in New Zealand in making informed future decisions. It could support kayako or teachers. But most importantly, it will support our children, the leaders of tomorrow.